me see. You and this your diary. Uh, hey, what's up now? Uh, what's it happen? <sighs> I saw your text message, babe, but you didn't write anything then. What did you get to drink, sir? Yeah, that's because I uh, wanted us to see face to face and talk. What happened? Lucy wrote about her father again. Wow. But this time is different. How? I'll show you her diary when she's not around so you could see for yourself. So I wanted you to come look after her while I go check on something. Where are you going? The same area I went to the other day. Babe, you're not even sure it was him that you saw. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I get it. I know you want to, to, to make Lucy's dreams come true. Be running around the whole town, just just hoping that your ex will magically reappear. It doesn't make sense. But I'm not going everywhere. I'm going to the exact spot I told you I saw him. I saw someone that looked exactly like him. I just wasn't able to get close to the person. And what if it's not him that you saw? I mean, I know you will give anything to have him raise you with Lucy. This is not about me. It's about Lucy. She needs him. I know Lucy needs him. But what if you go all the way there and you just waste your time, babe? Then I'll come back home. But what if I actually see him? Maybe I see him coming out one of those houses there. What about that? <laughs> That's like a one in a million, babe. But there's no harm in trying. Lucy needs him. Even though she doesn't talk about it as much as she does before, she needs him. All right, you know what? Where is she? She's in her room. All right. So... You go do what you need to do and I'll find something fun to do with her, okay? Thank Just you. be careful. Lucy! My baby! How are you? Guy yeah, Alpha. Yes, I just landed. Um, in the cab now, I'm heading home. Man, I swear, man. I've been flying non-stop for the past four weeks now. How far? No, no, I'll be fine. I just need a quick nap. I'll, I'll, I'll be good. Well, if you want us to meet, we can always meet. Yeah. But guy, I'm ready to come out now, 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 if you tell me to come out just now. What's up? Did they call you? Guy, who we'll sleep help? Who we'll sleep help now? Uh -uh. Guy, if they, if they called you already, then we have to have our meeting before you go and sit down and talk to them now. Yes, trust me, yeah, I'm good. I, I can come out right now if you ask me to. All I'll do is I'll just get to my house now, do it quick. I'll just freshen up. Then I'll, I'll come to you. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Um, send me the address. Yeah, send me the address. Um, all right. I'll see you in a bit. All right. Bye.
it up with some spices. Ah, uh -uh. Madame Chef, you're the one that's cooking today. But you know I'm learning. <laughs> oh yeah, get some spices. And pour it inside. <laughs> put some more. Put. Put some more. Okay. Yes, that's it. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Wait, wait. Mommy is back. Ah, ah, Madam Cook. I'm sorry, Auntie Becky. This girl, oh, come back and finish cooking. <laughs> Auntie Becky, I'm sorry. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so oh nice. babe, how are you? Cooking. Okay, do you know what? I think we'll leave it to simmer for like 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes! Okay. Alright. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that, it's fine. <laughs> She's so smart. I can't believe I'm raising a 13 year old. You know, sometimes I feel like Going back home and being a little girl again, honestly. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? And very soon, Lucy will be the one taking care of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the only thing is you need to open up and let somebody come into your life. Add a bit of color! Please, don't even start. Leave that one away. <sighs> Babe, you need to stop ignoring your own happiness, huh? Let someone in. Hmm. <sighs> I'm wondering who is going to come take care of Lucy and I in a perfect way. Lucy is my priority. Uh -huh. I keep telling you, there are actually good men out there. Hmm? Not a lot of them. You just need to give someone the opportunity to come into your life. Moreover, who knows, maybe Lucy's father may not be her biological dad. I do pray that they get a relationship together. But I pray that you give yourself the opportunity to find somebody. Oh, this Madame Coco. Lucy! Sleep when um, all this is over. So, food or drink? Um, no, no. I, I honestly don't have the strength to swallow anything. Seriously, you need to rest, guy. Huh? How was the flight? Man, exhausting. Exhausting. So, how far? Well, they, they want to talk. Or they want to listen. I knew you were going to ask me that. <laughs> For your mind now, you don't, you don't be claim say you know me. <laughs> you know, 15 years, well, I know you know me, Vince. You know, yeah. I know you too well. Well, if they want it both ways, yeah. They want to see what we have and as well listen to us. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now I'm tempted to say we should do the listening. I swear. I swear that's exactly what crossed my mind when I got the email. We should hear what they need. Well, I already gave them an offer, but I think we should still insist on hearing from them. Very important, bro. Yeah. It's important that we listen to what is most important to them. And when you're having that meeting with them, you need yeah. to keep your ears peeled, right? So that you can hear what they're not telling you directly. Yeah. Right? If you want one of my ears to be sacrificed, I'm ready so long as they'll give us this business. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh my God. What is it? I have a proposal with one of my clients and I've not even prepared anything tomorrow. Bro, I'm not talking about just one person. I'm talking about a full management team. Oh boy. Bro, I have to leave now. I will use the night to prepare it. I insist that you should please take it easy with work, please. 
ah, don't worry, bro. Very soon I'll be sipping pina colada on one of those islands, eh? Let's <laughs> so get the money first. Let's secure the bag. Get the bag, bro. Get okay, the bag. Bye. All right, see you. Okay, yeah. Bye. Peace. Bye. You make sure you rest. Yeah, I will. Yeah, send me your videos right now. Okay. Yeah, bye. Hey, babe. You do know that these things you do whenever you come here is wrong. I mean, you can't even hide your distrust. When did you get back? I tried to call you when I came back. Just immediately I landed, but you were sounding kind of off and I had to quickly wrap up the call. I was tired. And you don't know why I was sounding distracted, right? Well, I intend to find out. When? Look, babe, I'm trying to wrap up this job. I don't have anything to present to the client tomorrow. What are you trying to say? Look, babe. This house is practically your own, okay? So you can find something to do. You can even go to the kitchen to make something to eat. You can watch TV or even go to rest. I, I just have to concentrate on this thing right now. Harry, I came here to talk and this talk is happening now, not tomorrow. I'm sorry, I can't do that. I have to turn this out, just please. Harry, you know you don't make out time in this relationship. And I'm tired of being your afterthought. So we are talking now, like right now. Look, I beg you, Nina. I beg you in the name of God. I'm trying to reserve whatever energy I have left to finish this work. And there's a whole lot to do. I see. Please. You never make our time for us. But you see right now, we have to do it right now. I beg you. No, please, we can't. We can't do this right now. Please. So it is safe for me to conclude that this relationship is not important to you, huh? You know that's not true. I just can't deal with what you're offering or throwing at me right now. Fine. See what it. Hey, come on, Nina. You can't go back by this time now. It's late. Nina! This kid is going to kill me. Go for shopping directly or down from the office. Ah, but babe, you know how my boss can be, you know that, right? She can delay you. You know that, yes. What if she doesn't delay you? Then we can go shopping. But can we leave tomorrow as an option, please? Okay. Don't worry, babe. I'm gonna make sure this your birthday is as beautiful as you want it. Trust mommy, okay? But in the meantime, we need to get going, okay? Sure. All right. Yeah, so okay, this is you. There you go. And off we go. I can see you're so excited, all right? I've never started screaming about it yet. <laughs> Tomorrow is my birthday! <laughs> and you're going to have the happiest birthday ever, I promise. Wait, I have to call Auntie Becky so she cannot forget. Mm. Of course you will, we'll call. Let's go get your birthday things. <laughs> so what are you going to get for me? Mm. You will, mm. I know you. Okay, on a more serious note, I am begging and pleading. Would you tell me 
Tell me. I should tell you tomorrow. Okay, so you won't give me even if it's a hint? No, mommy. Uh, okay, since you don't want to tell me, I want to tell you something. But... <laughs> no! No, no, wait, wait. I... <laughs> This girl, come! No, <laughs> I'm serious. So what? what is it? Oh my god! Oh my god! What happened? Jesus! Is this not our neighbor? What happened? I don't know. Oh my! Go get somebody to get man. Anybody? Hurry up, please! Oh god. Hurry up! Please, oh, what happened to you? I don't know. We just met him here lifeless. Let's rush okay. into the hospital to your car. Please help me. Take these things inside, Lucy, okay? Oh, I'm fine. Is he okay? Yes, he is. He's he's awake now. But what happened to him? I don't I don't know, but all I know for now is exhaustion. The doctor said he's exhaustion so far, and um, he ran some tests, and the results are yet to be out. Is he talking? Yeah, he oh, he can God. talk, but he's really tired. Wow, thank God you and Lucy found him when you did. Yeah, thank God I could perform CPR on him because the doctor said if I didn't do that, he, he would have been dead before we got to the hospital. God forbid. Tell me. So when are they discharging him? Mm. No idea yet, but I'm going back there tomorrow okay. and Edward will be going back to the hospital oh, as well in the morning. I'll go back after I'm done prepping Lucy's bread day meal. Aww. Mommy, you know I'll follow you. I know you'd love to, but he said I should say hi. Okay. <laughs> Hungry? I am. I would love that, but I need to freshen up first. Okay. Oh my God. What a All right. Day. You freshen up and I warm the food. Thank Lucy, you. come and help me. <sighs> Thank God he's okay, right? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lucy. Happy birthday to you. Make a Happy wish, sweetheart. Hmm. Yay! <laughs> Happy birthday to the most gorgeous, most beautiful 13-year-old in the whole wide world. Mm, it's true. Because I look like you. Happy birthday, darling. Thank you, Auntie. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, my love, my joy, my pride, my heart beats. <laughs> Love you. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you know it's your birthday. We have to take pictures for the cake. But first, birthday breakfast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you know the rules. Dress your bed, say your prayers, and come to the kitchen. Come on. Surprise. <laughs> surprise. Birthday Happy birthday. Surprise. <laughs> Mommy loves you. It smells so good. Yeah, I know, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, good morning, sweetheart. Hey, girl. Happy birthday. Ooh, how, are how are you? So, oh. what do you want? Pancakes or hot dog? Hot dogs. I knew you'd go for that. <laughs> you know your Hot baby dogs are tasty. And don't forget, since it's your special day, we have some turkey and other goodies lined up. And that's not all? No. Nope. <laughs> Seafood okra. Yeah, your favorite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that thing we talked about. Oh. And what is this thing you both talked about? Mm, let's just say it has something to do with popcorn. Movies? <laughs> Is it movies? Let me see. I don't know. Hmm. So I don't know, but I know that only two people will know at the end of the day. Yeah, two, not three. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Is there some segregation going on here? I ask again. Hmm. Okay, okay. We'll see about that. Hmm. We'll see about that. Wow, you like to <laughs> be my grandma. I need you guys to smile for me. I'm smiling. <gasps> Alright, say cheese. Cheese. Oh my god, I love it. Alright, one more. Cut another angle. This <laughs> way. Oh, 13. Oh, okay, hold on one minute. Let me just show you how happy okay. How pretty she is. Mm -hmm. Alright, more pictures. Say cheese. Cheese. Oh. Let me get the door. Mr. Henry, come in. You're back already. Yeah. How come? <sighs> Hospitals make me sick. I had to promise the doctor that I will stay off work for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> my daughter Lucy and my best friend Becky. Hi. Hello. Lucy, I heard you found me. Yes. Thank you for calling your mom. You're welcome. Your mom told me last night that uh, today's your birthday. Yes. So, happy Come on. birthday. You shouldn't oh. have. Come on. No, it's nothing. You know, I was lucky I drove past the gift store, so I remembered and said to buy. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, um, Lucy, have a good day. Wait, excuse me. Okay. Oh, thank you for the gift. So, did anyone still come by this morning? Because I was supposed to come later in the day after her birthday. Oh, yes. Yes, he did. Oh, wow. Yes. Was um, nice. He was actually the person that brought me back. Oh, okay. That's very thoughtful of him. Yeah. Your <laughs> laptop. Oh. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. I'll see you guys later. All right. Thank you. Um, Wait, Uncle Harry, you can actually join us. Really? Yes, I mean, we have been having fun, and I think fun will help you heal better. <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> okay, you know, I think you're the doctor I was looking for yesterday. <laughs> so can I? Sure, of course. Your international doctor has told you what she wants. All right, guys, picture time. Group picture. Uh -huh. <laughs> come can on. join us. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be shy. You're officially part of the family right now. Why don't we take your pictures, Becky? Yeah, but he's not inside the picture. Okay, that's so fine. So we've all got so to take one I together. Think, okay. My figure in the middle. You yeah, ready? the celebrant. Say cheese. Cheese. Oh, okay, stay right there, stay right there. Okay, all right. Get closer. Oh, I love this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, lovely. One more, one more, one more. We've got to take another one. Hold on. Babe, listen. I don't think arguing all the time helps any of us. We need to make our talks and conversation less confrontational so we don't argue all the time. And I am to be blamed for all the arguments, right? No, I'm not blaming you. Neither am I taking the blame myself. Okay? We need to deal with whatever it is that makes us argue. What do you think I came to your address the other day? That you will not even make a little time for us. Oh, come on, babe. You know if I could, I would. I needed to get that job done. Henry, you make our time for things that are important to you. You do realize that sometimes you do not have time for even the most important things in your life. Not because you don't want to but because you're not in control of your time as of that time. 
you know i like it when you are this defensive but you should know by now that it will not take us anywhere i'm not being defensive you know what i didn't call you for us to argue okay i need us to see oh you finally have time oh, don't put it like that okay something happened i called you last night but you didn't pick i figured you were still angry I was already asleep when you called me. Okay. Um, no, Wahala. So, where are you? Preparing to hang out with my friends. Okay. Um, can we maybe see before you go briefly? Or maybe after you're done hanging out with your friends? I really need to talk to you. I can't come today. Babe, I, I really need to see you. Henry, you can't only see me when you want to see me. So stop sounding desperately in need to see me. You don't understand. I do. This is selfishness in display. And I don't appreciate it. You are always busy whenever I want to see you that I have to badge into you. But when you want to see me, you want me to leave everything to come to you. Babe, it's... You, 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 I really need to see you. You don't understand what happened. Okay? Please see me. I need us to, to see, like... See, I can't see you right now. I'll talk to you as soon as I can, please. Babe, you ready? Almost. Oh, what are you doing now? I thought you said you were just going to pack food. I'm going to clean up here. We made a mess while cooking. We could have done this on our return. We could be tired by then. <sighs> Is she ready? She's almost ready. Okay. You see what she did back then, right? Oh, babe, it's nothing. I don't think it's a big deal. I hope so. <laughs> She just wanted a lot of people for her party. And since we couldn't get her school friends, Henry just had to be dragged inside, nothing else. Like I said, I hope so. Oh, that's what. Stop oh, overthinking. Get it. Ready! <gasps> my daughter! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, she's so her. pretty. You are literally the most prettiest 13 year old ever. In the whole wide world. See your Thank baby. You. Okay, let's go and get to the oh, Fine girl! Fine girl! Fine girl! Are you serious? Don't even start. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Henry! Where are you going to? Oh, hey, ladies. Um, I'm actually taking a walk to see if I can get something for dinner. Taking a walk? The closest place you can get something to eat will take you like 20 minutes. Oh. Well, I, I just have to take that walk because that drug has dried me out. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, damn, so um, see you later. Huh? Okay. Is it just me, but this guy does not look like he's in any shape to take 20 minutes walk? Mommy, can we can we give him some of my first soup? Are you sure about that? Yes. Aww. Okay, so that means I have to warm it so you guys will get good. We don't even yes, want you mommy. to come in the first so place. Is good, right? Bye. Bye. <laughs> I got you this seafood okra. For real? Yeah. Seafood okra? Yes. Do you know seafood okra happens to be my favorite soup? Really? Yes. That's Lucy's favorite meal as well. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, she insisted I bring this to you. You see? You're not like the best doctor in the world. <laughs> You know, I'm going to eat this food with a whole lot of respect. <laughs> so do you have anyone that can come around and assist you? Um, is it? Oh, I'm so sorry about the food issues. No, 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 that's, that's actually not what I'm asking. You know, the doctor said that I need to feed well 
and rest well. If I do that, I'll be okay in a few weeks. Domestic work is still work. Yeah, but I have to do the best I can. Right? You know, I'm the only child. Yeah, I don't, my mom is late, actually. And my dad is over 70. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't even get myself to tell him that I collapsed. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm sure he wouldn't take in that news very well. No, he won't. Sorry about that, sorry about your mom. Thank you. So, we'll come check in on you from time to time. Okay, I will appreciate that. But um, please don't worry yourself about food. I will order from a restaurant. I'll just pack it up and put it in my fridge. It's okay, but we'll still come check on you. Thank you. All right. Bye. Uh, all right. Good morning, Good morning, sweetheart. How are you? Great. Just you slept well. Yes, I did. So did you or did you not have a swell birthday? I did. Well, thanks to you. You're welcome, honey. I love you. I love you too. So what are you cooking? Scrambled eggs. Like you like me. I know you would. Can we get some to inquire? On, you see, we don't have to choke him with our present. We're not choking him, maybe he doesn't have food. Why is a grown up man? Besides, he said he was going to order for food. What if he hasn't made it? Besides, he's hungry. Okay, don't worry, I'll check up on him. Okay, now you go freshen up and come have breakfast. Hurry up. Hi, good morning. Don't tell me the doctor sent you again. Obviously she did. And she insisted we have favorite food flask. So here you go. <laughs> her favorite food flask. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know you don't have to do this anymore. We're concerned about you, especially the international doctor. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I already ordered some food. It will be here in a few hours. Okay, that's that's fine. I'll let the doctor know. <laughs> okay, all right, bye. All right, bye. <sighs> hey, ah. you're finally up. Girl, I needed that sleep. I know. Where are you coming from? I went to deliver breakfast. Lucy sent me on an errand. Mm -hmm. Here she is. Lucy. Hey, Doc. So your patient says thank you for your kindness. I'm very glad to hear that. Uh, did you ask him whether he has gotten the order yet? Yes, I did, and he has. Okay, that's good. <laughs> hey, our maid. Oh. <laughs> Mommy of the year. <laughs> oh, girl. <sighs> What's wrong? Ophelia. What? I mean, you traveled for a second there. I, I think she's replacing her father. Is that a bad thing? Um, her father is still alive. And where is he? Uh, we know the reason why whatever it is might have kept him away. You're making excuses for this man again. Oh, and it's high time you stop. You are. I'm not making excuses. He was just ambitious and... I feel like which kind of ambition makes you so self-centered? I mean, he treated you back then like you were nothing. Like being with you was, was, was him just being kind. But that's, that's what it felt like then. Oh, wow. And I guess it still feels like it now. Which was true in some way. I feel like we were like kids 14 years ago. We didn't even know anything about life. The fact that his family sent him to a prestigious school and we went to an ordinary school does not give him the right to treat you the way he did. And still does. Well, 
He felt like he was better than us in every way. And I guess it still feels that way to you. No, come on. You know I don't have self-esteem issues. I know you don't. But you, you crowned this guy your Prince Charming back then. Huh? And as far as I'm concerned, a title that he's not worthy of. He wasn't worthy of it then and he sure is not worthy of it now. I feel like don't let Lucy mess the relationship she has with Henry just because of this guy. Is you, we're not fighting. Uh, we are fighting, oh. We are fighting. You cannot use your desire for him interrupt what's going on with Lucy and Henry right now. And Henry seems like such a nice guy. I mean, if he's going to add some color into her life, so be it. Remember, it takes a village to raise a child. And I say Henry should belong to this community. Hmm. Remember, they say half bread is better than none. Hi. So, uh, I'm sorry to bother you this late. It's okay. Yeah, you're sir. Hey, good evening, Doc. Uh, thank you for all your kindness. You're welcome. Now you can go back to bed, okay? I'll join you. Okay, well, good night, okay. Harry. All right, good night, Doc. Is Hope all is well? Um, yes. So, can I ask you for a favor? What is it? So I was wondering if um, I could send you some money to help me make food on a weekly basis. Um, I, I thought you ordered for food. Yes, I did. But pff, I don't like them. They are mostly tasteless or too spicy. Mm. Look, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm bothering you. It's okay. So I could do once a week, I would store them in my fridge. Okay. Yeah, so um, I can do you some transfer now. Um, why, um, why don't you go back home, sit and decide what and what you really want for the first week, then we draw a budget. Oh, but I really have to eat tomorrow. You know, the doctor said I shouldn't drive, if not, I'll go get it myself. And I don't think you should. You even leave the compound, let alone driving. You're not fit for that. Yeah. Okay, don't worry, I'll send um, breakfast in the morning and lunch and dinner as well. Okay, so um, how much will all that cost? No, don't worry, it's on the house. Courtesy of your doctor. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So good night. All right, good night. What do you mean exactly, guy? You're sounding as if they want you to come over. Uh, that's exactly what they said now. Guy, you the chop? Come on, I the chop. Oh. This medication, they make me chop like smooth picking. Oh, well, you guys chop, oh. You know, so this life now once what person gets. Eat. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, we're heading to the airport very soon. I'm just somewhere waiting for someone to get my suit. You have freshness. 
What do Mango do now? We guys look fresh to keep up to the standard, man. Yeah. Man, I wish I was there. My friend, you better come out your mind from work. What do you worry? Come out your mind from work, oh. I did try. Where are you there, Seth? I don't trust you. This boy, I don't trust you. If you just stay for one restaurant, we're there for one of our clients' office. Where are you? <laughs> I didn't have the job. Better. Don't worry, when I come back, I will um I'll come over and see you, my boy. Um, so how long do you think it will take? Um from what they said, they said one or two weeks, but I'm giving myself three weeks in case. Okay. Just do whatever you need to do, guy. We need this money. Yes, we need it. I know we need the money. But please get yourself off from this thing. Share not just faint. Keep yourself strong until I return. Did you hear me? <laughs> you <did> mad. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha now. Don't worry. Um Alpha Alpha Nina. I beg. Um we will talk about Nina some other time. I don't get her energy now. Oh really? Okay, no other. Later now. All right, bro. Yeah. Later. Why are you smiling? He's going to enjoy the food. <laughs> so why are you invested in him enjoying this food? Because I care about him. I just want him to be okay. I see. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> yeah. Your doctor sent me again. Ah, the best doctor in the world. <laughs> ah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, can I pay for this? No, you don't have to. Look, okay, you know what? I'll have to start paying for any meal from now on. Okay, but you have to tell me exactly what you want. Fair enough. <laughs> Why are you giggling? <laughs> because I just feel like a kid with a candy. <laughs> I need to learn how to cook really fast. Mm. <laughs> Learning how to cook doesn't happen very fast. It takes a while. Mm. But at least I have to start from somewhere. You're right. I'm sure that's my doctor trying to be sure I did not go elsewhere. Let me go. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Let me go thank her myself. <laughs> Lucy. Hey. Hi. Um, Nina, this is Ophelia, my neighbor. She was good to me when I... Uh... Oh, she had been good to you. When you came to open the door, I saw the smile on your face. So I'm wondering what happened. Why the smile disappeared when you saw me? Okay, um, I tried to call you a couple of times to come see me because I wanted to explain what happened to me. I think I need to leave him. No, no, no. It's wow. Okay. How many times have you been coming back here? Excuse me? Nina, stop. Stop what? I've suspected you and I have obviously not been wrong. Imagine what I walked into. If I had delayed a little bit, Probably I would have seen you both naked. Excuse me, what the hell is she talking about? What? Ina, you need to stop being disrespectful. Okay, please, I, I need to. Get out. Hey, um, Ophelia. Are you okay? Are you okay? How many girlfriends would be happy dating a guy they don't see? But I tried to call you. I told you I wanted to see you because I felt bad that, yeah, I just realized that I had not had time for us. Oh, you're just noticing. So all the times I've been saying it, you have been deaf, eh? Well, I'm here. I don't have anything to say to you anymore. Because of your sight, please. It's not a side piece, okay? That woman is the reason I'm alive. She must be amazing then. You know what? I was thinking that maybe 
just maybe I needed to step up, but I just realized that I must be joking if I call what we have a relationship. So what is it then? Whatever it is, I don't care and we are done, okay? You don't trust me. You don't. And you're always nasty and I hate it. I'm done. You're breaking up with me because I'm demanding you do better, right? Okay. Sorry. It's okay. She's your girlfriend, so I totally understand her misunderstanding my being in your house. Yeah. But she had no right to do what she did to you. We burned her things. Yeah. We're no longer together. On my account? No. Oh. No. She had it coming. Look, I know you're really upset now, but I know by the time you calm down, you guys will sit and talk and settle things. But trust me, I was as calm as I needed to be when I ended things with her. You know, this whole collapsing episode has kind of given me a perspective. So I've decided to focus on things that gave me rest and clear peace of mind. Which means that I'll be saying no to some jobs, some projects, and some people. That's great. It's, it's, it's the best decision for your health. Thank you. So um, I'll appreciate it if you can still go on with making the meals for me. I will. And I would understand if you're no longer comfortable with discussing the meals and the costs at my place. So... Um, I could just go get my phone, so we could. No, that it's fine. I'll I'll come by later. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Good night. Good night. Lucy. Hello? Yes. Yes, I bought everything. I know, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I bought everything. Okay, I'll see you soon. <laughs> that was Lucy, right? Yes. Let me guess. Reminding you to get Henry's thing. Yeah. You see, that just goes to prove what I was saying. Oh, okay, please. That Harry makes her happy doesn't mean I have to approve. And thank God he's not a pervert. Oh, come on. Yeah, I have to think of every angle. Oh. They are grown men that are demons. I have to watch closely when he's with my daughter. To see his... He doesn't need to be looking at her in any kind of way. You have a point. You have a point. But I get more of a, you know, big brother, little sister, big uncle, oh, little on. niece, stepdad, stepdaughter kind of vibe. Please don't even start. <laughs> fine, fine. I know. Okay, okay, okay. Lucy already has a dad. But how about your feelings? Yes. Do you see the way his light beams when he looks at you? Literally, you. You've been catering to his stomach too for the past few weeks. He's been the one funding it. <laughs> you obviously haven't minded. Please. Um, Olga, <sighs> please. Let's go. Driver, let's go. You have our address in the map, right? Let's go, please. Okay, don't even start. Okay. Not, we're done talking about that, okay? Thank okay. you. I don't have time. Just two minutes. I don't have two minutes. Mommy, please. Okay, hold on. Let me spell this out to you. Let's make it clear. 
Uncle Henry is not your father. I know. But you're making it seem like he is. No, Mommy. You know we have been playing this word and knowledge game. I know. You know how much I like it. You can even ask Auntie Becky to confirm how much I like the game. Okay. But well, you have just one minute. You don't have that time. Thank you. Hey. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. Good morning, Ophelia. Good morning. Oh, okay. Admit it, Doc. Fine, I admit it. I was wrong yesterday. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Exactly. But wait, that's not a way to answer a question. Fine. Good. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> and Mercury is the closest to the sun, while Nep Mercury is the closest to the sun, while Neptune is the farthest to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> nice, bravo. Ah, you see, I told you, whenever you're in doubt, do what? Consult Google. Google is my best friend now. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, let's go now. Uh, can I have vegetable soup later in the evening? Okay, I'll, I'll bring it in the evening then. All right. All right, later. Bye. All right, bye. Bye-bye. What's up, guy? Man, I do. Man, finally. No, I never come for house. <laughs> I did house all, all along. Guy, this your few weeks done the turn to month, so I've been there for my eyes. <laughs> Man, well, uh, to sit down for house, no be small work, my brother. So are you back? Okay, cool. So when am I seeing you? Guy, let this your evening be this evening. No. I beg. I need us to, I need a brief on how we've gone with this project. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I know it when I need talk, guy. I know it when I need talk. This year, this evening, if you talk next year now, you don't go, no. Okay. All right, now. I'll see you this evening. All right, bro. Bye. Hey, baby girl. Hello, mom. What are you up to? Hmm. Learning new words? Hmm. I'm going to shock on Henry. Hmm. But I don't remember him saying anything about a challenge this morning. Hmm. I'm not waiting for him. <laughs> I'm setting the new challenge. Hmm. Okay, I see. I need to go deliver his soup. Uncle Henry, I want to follow you to give him his new assignments. Okay. Someone wants to give someone a challenge. You give me 10 minutes so I could pack oh. up the food, okay? Oh, wait, Auntie Becky is back. Oh, I can hear the doorbell. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brother Lee. <laughs> Charlie Money. My guy. Charlie Money. What can I do, brother? What can I do? <laughs> so far now. I'm supposed to be asking her for Are you standing well? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> You know, you do, you do fall up and down these days. I think I ask. <laughs> How are mad. you doing? <laughs> Man, that fall will be small fall. Mm. So the doctor said it was an induction, yeah? Yeah, a very bad one, man. Wow. My body just shut down like that. Mm. And also my blood pressure was extremely low. I'm telling you. You know, the doctor also said that um, the heart disease mm. increased inflammation. And a 50% chance of increased viral infection, uh -uh. and even a lot more, was what I risk having if I don't slow down, my brother. Well, that's, that's, that's too bad. Yeah. 
You know, I told you, I told you we were working so hard for too long. I told you, yeah? Bro, you don't even need to tell me again. After the doctor mentioned all those things, right? Nobody tell me. I get brain. I had to slow down. Oh, yeah. Thank God for those people that came to you at the moment they did. Um, hmm. Can't even thank them enough. So, how far? Raise your hand up. I got the deal. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> My man! Oh, come, on, come down, come down. I, bet. I don't want to rush first into the hospital. Careful, just take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not that fragile. Now. <laughs> so, I got the deal, man. Oh, okay, got... someone is at the door. Oh, okay. All right, I'm yeah. coming up. All right, yeah. Oh, and here is my doctor. Good evening, Uncle Henry. Good evening, Doc. Good evening. So we brought your goodies. Oh, thank you. There you go. And I came to give you a new assignment. Okay. Charlie. Yes. Dad. surprised at how you even recognized him. I have a picture of him, but I don't bring it out anymore. Why? It's been long. And he's not on social media. He said mom was talking about him. I knew it was him. Sorry. Mom, can I talk to Uncle Harry if dad's still there? I don't want to go back there. Not. Don't worry. Now that Uncle Harry knows him, I'm sure we can get in touch with him, okay? I need to go back to my room. I need time to think. Well, she'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, she'll be fine. Are you okay? Yeah, let me go and check on your mom. I'll be back. What's wrong? I've been looking for him for years now. And now I see him, I don't even know what I'm feeling. Oh, calm down, you're clearly still in shock. Huh? In How shock. does he even know Henry? Did he talk to you? Did he say anything? Yes, he was surprised. Wow, I guess it means Lucy's prayers were answered. I guess so. God. God, I, I can't even imagine how you feel. Just... I don't even know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. Just your friends? Yes, we are. I guess we need to talk. Long overdue. Well, I'll be heading to my place. I just had to bring him here. Thanks, man. I guess you can come in. everywhere for you for years I looked everywhere hey Lucy dad you're so good now 
Yes, my birthday was a few weeks ago. I'm very sorry I missed it, okay? Happy belated birthday. Have you been in the country? Yeah, a lot of times I have. And you didn't come to see us? Look, Lucy, your mom and I had a certain kind of relationship that made it so hard for me to look for you. How? My mom has been looking for you. I will explain that to you some other time, okay? I promise. Are you leaving? Yes, I am. I didn't plan for this moment, okay? Well, are you coming back? Yes. Can I have your number? Yeah, sure. I will see you soon, Ophelia. Bye. Bye. I have his number. Oh, great. You can save it on my phone. Baby, you okay? I can't. I can't believe that it's it's. It feels like I'm dreaming. God. This is a man I searched for. What do you mean by a moment you dreaded? You will not understand. Make me understand, bro. Like Lucy is your daughter. And then Ophelia? Ophelia is your woman? She's not my woman. She's the mother of my child. Whichever one, bro. I mean, you should be excited, like, extremely excited, bro. I, how did you guys even lose communication in the first place? It's a complicated story I hope I never have to confront. How do you mean? Look, I don't have time to talk about this. Maybe we'll talk about it later, okay? I have to go now. Okay, fine. Um, but we have to talk about it. I'll walk you to the car. Don't ask me until I tell you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? What's going on? You see, I am... Um, good, good, good. But I wanted to talk to you about something. Uh -huh. It's just that sometimes when you have to... Lucy, what? what's wrong? Why are you crying? Good morning. Why are you crying? crying? What is it? I've been calling that since yesterday night. Mm -hmm. And why are you calling him without telling me? I just wanted to know if he would have dinner with us. Well, you don't call people at night, darling. You don't. Only messaged him once with a phone call. It's even this morning I started calling him. Oh, let's see. calm down, okay? Calm down. Just take a deep breath. Okay? <laughs> He, he's calling. Hey. Well, this this is what she wanted. Yeah, but not this fast. Yeah, I wanted them to bond and get to know themselves gradually. But I didn't expect her to be excited about it. And how about she? What she wants? I'm just doing what's best for her. Okay, that's it. Well, as it should be. But babe, prepare your mind, though, because. You will not hear the end of how you forced yourself on him and forced the pregnancy on him. But you know, you and I know that's not the truth. Yeah, I know that. But all he ever did back then was tell that same story. Who's to say he won't say the same thing now to Lucy? Well, the only crime I committed was falling head over heels in love with him and throwing caution to the wind, not listening to advice. That's the only crime. Even though he was never investing anything in you. But you know what his family wanted for him. His family didn't think you were good enough. They, 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 they didn't think you were good enough. And babe, that is the only reason why you keep making excuses for this man till today. I'm not making excuses for him. I'm babe, not. 14 years we're talking about. 14. At least 10 out of the 13 years he could have been there. But he didn't. And I really hope you're not getting any fantasies of rekindling a relationship with him. I don't know. I'm just doing what's right for my daughter. I'm doing what will make her comfortable and happy. That's all. 
I hope it's for her. Of course it is. Uh, I haven't had dinner this evening. Here? <laughs> no, it's taking us to a restaurant. So how do you plan all of this without letting me know? Better get yourself a nice dress. Okay. Hey, imagine this girl. Yeah. She been serious. Well, this is what you wanted. <laughs> you better get yourself a nice dress. <laughs> I'll be in my room. I'll be in my room. I wish you all the best. Auntie, this place is beautiful. Yeah. Do you normally eat here? Not really. Wait, hey, Tom, what do you have? Exactly what I'm having right now. What if. Lucy. We have to enjoy our meals, okay? Talk about it later. So what do you do now? I thought we were here to enjoy our meal and talk later. You're not Lucy. Okay. Um, I'm a HR assistant. HR assistant? Yes. What is that supposed to mean? I am partly responsible for the daily administrative and HR duties of our organization. Is that not what the HR person is supposed to be doing? That's why I said I am partly responsible. The HR manager is my direct boss, so we make things happen and work together. So you're an assistant? That means you do what you're asked to do? I... I am... Um, I'm in charge of recruitment, record maintenance for payroll processes, and also the support and welfare of all our employees. Look, you're still telling me the work of a HR. That means you're an assistant. Yes, I'm an assistant, but I'm not a robot. I take decisions, like I said earlier. I have set up goals and initiatives that I make sure we meet. Look, I'm not trying to offend you, okay? I'm just asking questions. I am not offended. I am just responding to your questions. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, darling. Good evening. Why is your face like this? I, mean, I was expecting you to bust in here with excitement. I'm nothing. I just came to get water. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> Girl, what's going on now? This one, you and Lucy, they drag face up and down. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. What, did he say something to upset you? It's not about what he said. It's, it's the general body disposition. But like he didn't want to be there? I, I didn't exactly. Like... That's, that's what he looked like. Why are you surprised? Why won't I be surprised? This is a man I looked for for years. Becky, I looked for him. I wanted him to bond and connect. As because of his daughter, Lucy. I was expecting him to feel the same way, even, even if it's a tiny bit. If this is a man that if he wanted to get in touch with you, you realize he could. He knows your family house. Unlike his own family that's abroad and have been there since we were kids. He practically changed his phone number and, and lost touch. Babe, if he wanted to be found, he would. So why can't he bond with Lucy? Because she's from you. Oh, a figure for the up to time, I've told you this thing. He he never treated you like you were on his level. He always mm. acted like you were beneath him. He wouldn't even introduce you as his girlfriend back then. Yes, he will carry you around and, and he won't even say anything. Yet I followed him all over the place. Yes, and he's still that same guy right now. Ophelia, you need to distance yourself from him. Lucy needs him. And what if she doesn't? Becky... He's her father. A father that's practically never been there for her. A father that's non-existent. 
Look, I, I don't know why you keep holding a torch for this man, waiting and praying that he will come back into your life. If he wants a relationship with Lucy, fine. But it doesn't mean he has to be your man. I don't even know why you, you, you keep crowning this guy like he's a god. Hmm. I've heard how... I pray you've heard though, because babe, <laughs> can't be dragging your face like this all the time because of this man. There are other men out there. Hello, Charlie. Please, we need to talk. Can you come by my place tomorrow? Yeah, I, I understand, but it's important. Okay. Guy, this one you came to see me this early. I hope everything there. I mean, the fun good guy. We didn't worry you. We will be while we took up one for you. Come on, go and sit down. Yeah, so why you can't come now? Come on. Ophelia. She called and summoned me. Someone? Yeah, she said she want to talk, and I guess it's, it has to do with Lucy. Yeah, man, about that. I can't believe you're her father. I have no choice. No choice. What do you mean? Come on, I didn't plan that the girl that was following me everywhere would kind of um, get pregnant for me. I didn't plan that. Oh, you were sleeping with her. What did you expect? What in the world are you? Come, what in the world are you now? I came here to catch up some bread and you're telling me this. It's not enough for you. But I, I'm only responding based on your, your reply now. Besides, this thing happened a long time ago. You need to embrace the fact that both Lucy and her mother are now part of your life. Bro, you stayed away for such a long time. You have a lot to catch up on and make up for. Harry. I cannot start now to complicate my life. My life has been structured already, and you know. But in the meantime, I will try as much as possible to catch up with the moment. I'll take care of Lucy, foot abuse, and you know money is not a problem, <laughs> you know. So whatever it is, I will take care of it. But as for Philia, I will try as much as possible to, you know, get intimacy with her time after time. Okay, but um, to build something with her, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. So, get intimate with her from time to time. What do you mean? Bro, why do you want to have or get intimate with someone that you don't have any feelings for? I mean, after all this time, why? It's clear enough that she wants me. She's very beautiful, so why not? Come on, I'm out of here. I'm coming back for you. Keep something for me because I'm very hungry. I came to see you and you had given me sort of questions. Keep something for me. I'm coming for you. Uh -uh. What are you all dressed up for? Charlie's coming. Charlie? Yeah, I called him yesterday night. Why? What? I need to do better than I did 14 years ago. If I don't understand, I need to have clear and deep conversations with him. I need to know what his plans are for Lucy. I mean, she needs to benefit from all of this. I have to put whatever I feel for him aside, okay? I need to know where all of this is <laughs> leading to. Babe, let's be honest here. This is clearly more about you than Lucy. I know what I am doing, okay? I know what I'm doing. Babe, if you get pregnant for him a second time, you know it will be the worst. It will be worse than the first. I think there's someone at the door. Go, go get it. She'll be here.
Hi. Yes, obviously, you're here already. Hi, Charlie. You're welcome. Thank you. Please sit. I'm going to leave you guys to it. Wow, you look so good. Thank you. So before you say anything, I would like to apologize for for dinner. I think I I made things awkward. It's it's fine. It's totally okay. It won't happen again. So where's Lucy? She's in her room. But before I go get her, I need us to have a conversation. Okay. First off, you need to promise me that you have to bond with her. I mean, gradually. It's very important. Sure, sure. That's very important. I can start by picking her up from school from Monday. Mm, that's great. That's, that's really great. You're very beautiful. Thank you. Look, Ophelia, I left 10 years ago because of immaturity. You know, I, I didn't plan to have a baby at the time we were young. But now, I promise you, I will take care of Lucy. I promise to take care of you, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is your halfa. Uh -uh. It seems to be my halfa. It's like it's not coming from your heart. <laughs> that is your conscience. <laughs> Becky, look, I know you care so much about Lucy and I. In fact, you've been there for us through all thick and thin. You've been there. And I know. Our happiness matters to you a lot. Yeah. What's going on? I need you to trust me on this one. I know what I'm doing. I need you to trust me. What's going on? Charlie and I were trying to make you work. We're trying to work out things between us. Trying to make what work? I feel like, what are you saying? I mean... If Lucy was the one saying this, I get it. I mean, she, she's excited. She's not even questioning where he's been all these years. But coming from you, uh, I'm shocked. You're just letting this man walk back into your life as if he just left last night. All the years he's been away and everything he put you through, really. But what if what did not work out 14 years ago works out now? What if? What are you saying? But don't let a man reject you the second time. Because whatever kept him away for this long will surely come back and take him away again. Bib, use your head, oh. Use your head. Do not just listen to what he says, but open your eyes. Watch what he does. Because... Hmm. Please, I'm going to go and get some water. I'm not ready for this kind of discussion. Hey. Your food. Thank you. I I may not be able to continue cooking for you. Hey, I overdid it, right? I know, I know I should have resumed going to the restaurant, but the thing is they don't, they don't cook in bulk. And so I had to eat there. And then I got carried away because I, you, your cooking was good. Look, I'm, I'm sorry for stressing you out. It's okay. I'm actually 
doing this because Charlie and I are trying to work on what we had. He wants, do you, do you want him back? Losing it him. But do you? It's not about me. It is. He's important to me. But are you, are you important to him? Look, I, I don't want to have this conversation with you. That's not why I'm here. I only thought it was right to tell you because Charlie is your friend. So I don't make it awkward for all of us. It's okay. Um, thank you. Thank you for all you've done so far for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I have to go now. Send the documents to me for approval before you send to the clients, all right? Please do it now. I'm going to tell them to wait for you in an hour. Thank you. So, can I continue? I need to concentrate on this now. Not now. Are you ready to eat now? Mm -mm. Is you I want to talk to? Hey, babe. Sweetheart. Good evening, Mom. Good evening, Daniel. Did you have a good time with your father? What's with the face? What? Mom, can I go to Uncle Henry's house? Listen, why do you want to go there? He's... Lucy. Okay, you can go. But, don't be long, okay? Okay. With the face? Nothing. Oh, come on, it's not nothing. I can see your face. You're even crying. What is it? I don't think my dad loves me. Oh, come on, don't say that.
Should I come with you? No, I'm okay. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, baby. I'm coming. I'm in love with you. What? I said I'm in love with you. No, you can't be. What are you saying? Are you saying you know my feelings more than I do? Look, you're just... You're just appreciative of what I did for you when you were not feeling well. And the food. You can't love me. I'm appreciative of you, yes. But all of that was just an opportunity for me to get to know you. Why are you telling me this? I already told you that Charlie and I are trying to work out what we had. And what is that? What do you mean? What do you guys have? Does he love you? Does he say it to you? Does he show it to you? Ophelia, you're very beautiful. You're intelligent. You're consistent. You're kind. And I love what you've done with Lucy. She's intuitive. She's, she's smart. She's nice. You've raised a beautiful and a wonderful daughter all by yourself. And I want you both in my life. But if you do not feel the same way for me, you still want Charlie, then um, I will have to stay away. I just, I just had to say this today before I sleep. All right, good night. surprise you. You know, there's this resort that just opened. Very beautiful place. So I want to take you there. Let's have a good time. Charlie, do you love me? What are you talking about? You said you cared about me back then. Yes, and it's true. Before I got pregnant. You know, I am. <clears throat> I know I reacted so badly about the pregnancy, okay? I'm sorry. But I stayed back. 
for three years and disappeared for 10 years. What are you saying? I'm just trying to have us come back, have a good time and build something together. And? And see what happens. You know, I thought about us, I thought about you, I thought about Lucy, my future. All through the night, I gave it a long thought. Babe, listen to me. Listen to me. If you don't want to go for this resort, fine, I understand. I can go and come back. Why didn't you look for me? Tell me, why didn't you look for me? Jeez, are we, are we going to talk about this now? I practically waited for you all these years. What is this? I am trying to have a decent conversation with you. You told me you were going to see your family in the US and you ran away. You disappeared on me. No calls, nothing. All your phones were switched off. Everything was so overwhelming for me. Okay? I was never in a relationship with you even when you got pregnant. As far as I'm concerned, I was in a relationship with you. And everybody that knew us knew that we were in a relationship. Everybody that knew us knew that I was never in a relationship with you. Look, I'm trying to bond with you and you're trying to mess this up. We have a child, okay? Let's focus on how to raise this child, become one family and bond together. Do you really want that? Well, it all depends on you. It all depends on you. Look, I have to go now, okay? Give me a call if you have a change of mind to go to the resort. Have a good day, Ophelia. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about a lot of things. About that. Well, it's one of the a lot of things. <laughs> if he loves us, he'd have killed us. But if he doesn't, you don't need it. But I You've always wanted him. Because I thought he wanted me. Sweetheart, you need to give him some time. You have all the time in the world. He will always be my dad. But I don't want to expect anything more. How are you this smart and mature? Hmm? I'm 13. I'm no longer a child. Oh, I hear you, madam. <laughs> I love, I love you. I love you too. Hi. Hi. I see you're resuming already. Yeah. My doctor said that I can, but he said I should be calm and I should take it easy. So I'm trying to rush out for an early morning meeting. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, I am... Um, I've not opened up my heart to anyone for a very long time now. It's been Charlie all this while. He asked me to go to a resort with him yesterday. And I was there thinking, how would... I feel if you were the one asking me that. How do you think it would feel? Definitely better than the way I felt when he asked me. I am... Um, I won't lie, I won't deny the fact that I feel something for you. And all this while I was thinking being with Charlie or having him in my life will make me a better person, that will make me feel better about myself. Make me feel that that thing they thought I wasn't, it will make me fulfilled. Actually what I truly wanted, and what I truly want is to be loved back. Oh, I love you, Ophelia.
Even if I wasn't in the picture, you shouldn't be with someone that makes you doubt yourself. Someone that makes you yearn and is never fulfilled. Someone that makes you wonder if he loves you. You shouldn't. When someone loves you, you can feel it. You can touch it, you can, you can hold it. You're an incredible woman. And I want you. I want you on everything that you, you have and you come with. I've denied myself of affection for so many years now. <laughs> maybe you were waiting for me. Maybe, just maybe, my collapsing was the universe trying to bring us together. Maybe the universe just wanted you to put your hands on my chest. <laughs> okay, you've got jokes right now. Because <laughs> you feel better, right? <laughs> that was funny. Be my woman. You make me feel so good. You make me feel so good too. And I actually have no reason not to want to be your woman. For real. I'll be your woman. But we have to tell Charles. Yeah, he's coming here later today. I will talk to him. Okay. <sighs> Baby girl! Come, 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 come. What's this smile about? I'm moving on from Charlie. It's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me more. Charlie was here yesterday and he offered to take me on a vacation to some resort. And it just dawned on me that I meant nothing to this man. I was just a piece of thing he could have good time with. And that's it. Nothing serious. But babe, this is exactly what he would have offered you before. And you would have taken it. Exactly. But that was then. I have moved on from mm -hmm. the past. He clearly took advantage of the fact that you would wait on him. <laughs> it is the good news. Look, I can't believe that I was waiting for someone this long. Like, I had no idea this person was not ready to build anything meaningful. Hmm. A life worth living with me. I meant nothing to him. I'm so excited. What was I thinking? Oh my like God. Like I've moved on from it. I'm done. I am done. Good. Now. I'm done for you. Please, please, please. <laughs> when are we going to tell him to go to hell? Ah! My boyfriend will be telling him that. The only discussion I'll be having with Charlie henceforth is just Lucy. That's hold on, all. hold on, hold on. Boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Your boyfriend. Uh, which boyfriend? Drum roll. Yeah, I'm dropping roll, but tell me who. We <coughs> talk now. Henry and I are now a thing. Stop, yes. Henry. Yes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Our name was Henry. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Sweetheart. Got some good news. Yes, mommy's got good news. What's it? Don't shout. So Uncle Henry and mommy. And now going to be very good friends. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so happy. For you. Hey, I'm happy. Thank you. Great hug. Thank you. And I love the way he makes you happy. Oh, oh baby. So sweet. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go and eat. Mm. Mm -mm. This is definitely an occasion to celebrate. Of course it is. Let's oh, go. I'm on a level. Hey. What are you talking about? She's my woman now. You know I've known you for over 15 years. Don't be very stupid because I can see you're becoming stupid already. What is stupid about what I just said? That woman is the mother of my child. I know that. And I'm in love with her. My goodness. So because she took you to a stupid hospital? Or she was feeding you with cheap food? 
What is the attraction? Tell me. You know, I'm glad you do not see what I see. There are so many attractions, bro. But that is for me now. Harry Wadike, you know how awkward this is going to be. I may decide to do business with other people. Charles Chukunansu, aka Charlie. Don't you ever threaten me about taking projects away from me again. Okay? I only told you about this out of respect for our 15-year-old friendship. And to also let you know that I'll be taking good care of your daughter. So you left Nina, a daughter of an ex-governor, for a complete nobody? You know I'm not from your world of I am this and I am that. As far as I'm concerned, I left Nina, a lady that gives me no joy, for Ophelia, a lady that is everything I want and more. You see, that nobody is the mother of the best child you will ever have. I can see you're completely stupid. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. I wonder what you're... Ah. Yeah. Madam! This one you're very happy. And you're about to find out. Ha! Someone at the door. Try that. Oh. Thank you. Hello. Hey, doctor. How are you? I know you two are now close friends. <laughs> wow. I hope you're okay with that. Yeah, I am. Well, I'm happy for the both of you. Lucy, let's give them some privacy. <laughs> <laughs> Becky. <laughs> I love you too. So, did you talk to Charlie? Yes, I did. And? Well, I have two things to say. Okay, um, I'm oh, all ears. That's my souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, one is, no one should waste time with anyone that does not show them that they matter. Okay? And then two, Whether Charlie shows up or not, I will always take care of my woman and my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> That's to get my souvenir back. <laughs> Thank you so much, babe. Oh, oh here God. they are. Is your love bread? Break it up. <laughs> Let's celebrate. Yeah, it is time to get some drinks. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. I'll there have that. Okay, Lucy, where's come mine? and help me. Where is my here? Lucy. <laughs> Lucy. Lucy will be getting soft drinks. Nothing too heavy, okay, girl? Or maybe just a little, mommy. What do you say? No, no, just no. Just a little? No. Well, no. Adults first before Lucy. Okay. <laughs> so this is to love. Yeah. Yeah? New beginning. Alright, so mommy first. Okay, I go first. <laughs> Our new friend. <laughs> And Lucy, hmm. can we 
Can you give me say a little bit? Okay, just no. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Sorry, Lucy. <laughs> oh, she look, there's some drinks. Yes, there's something here for Lucy. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, bring your cup. Okay, guys, let's make a so, toast. So, what are we celebrating to? Love. Love. Cheers to love. Love. Love always wins. <laughs> Cheers, guys. There is no 